to. We are connecting with your divine twin flame, the one you came here for, the one you're thinking about. Now, again, with twin flame videos, take it how it resonates in your situation. Leave the rest behind for someone else. We're going to get started for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's begin by shuffling the Stella's Tarot deck. Messages from their twin flame, please. Either in no communication, you could be speaking to your twin flame right now or there's a difficult season. Uh, you could be talking to someone new right now that you believe is your twin flame Libra. So we're going to get the most genuine highest messages. That was the shuffle. It is ready. Genuine messages from Libra's twin flame. Thank you very much. We have Capricorn energy here, the four of pentacles, the chariot, the nine of swords. I want to show you the spillage. <laughs> We have the chariot. Someone's traveling toward you, okay? What I'm getting here is it's a destined type of meet. We do have, uh, and not the carne meet, the meetup is what I'm talking about. We also have the nine of swords. There's a level of worry here about the future, whether this is you, Libra, or your current person. Let's look at the chariot card. What's the chariot mean today? We have the seven of swords. Okay, so this is about a lie that was told. Or there was something here in the past two Libra I feel like you have knowledge about already. This is something that you know about with the Seven of Swords. Intuitively, I get two messages and I do need to address them. I feel like what's coming through here is this person wants to be really honest, okay? Creating movement toward you. They also feel like you need to know the truth with the Seven of Swords. This can be someone in a lover situation that you were in. I feel like you got out of it too, Libra. If you're watching this video today, there has been a break here with this person, Four of Pentacles being a surrounding card, okay? And the Nine of Swords. Uh, a little bit more on the Chariot, please. Before we move forward, the Seven of Cups. Okay, so I thought it was the Ten, but it was the Seven here. We do see that this person is admitting perhaps they were seeing someone else or there was options here for this person. Some of you have proof of this and what I'm getting strongly in twin no flame or <laughs> twin no flame, there was probably no flame, twin no contact here. For those of you that are okay and you resonate with this portion of the video, you almost felt that these options were maybe always there and it was in your gut. I think it was somewhat of a frightful thing, of course. This is hard to see. So let's look at the Seven of Cups, which appears energetically today. What is this? We have the Hermit. Yeah, so presently, they could be in a Hermit mode. They could be keeping to themselves. They could have been alone for the last couple of months, not reaching out to you. Divine Feminine. I feel like I had to say Divine Feminine at that part. Uh, you knew that they kept busy. There were other parts in their life. If you don't have receipts here of another person today, Libra, I do think this, this Seven of Cups can also be career. This could be something that this person is heavily obligated to. And they just wanna come clean with that Seven of Cups too. This is a bonus video. The first one might resonate with you as well. Okay, I just wanna say that because there's themes here in the two videos. Let's see here what's happening with the Hermit. Can I have information on this Virgo energy? Your person could have Virgo in their chart as well, Libra. We got the Queen of Wands. So here we have either you, Libra, as the Queen of Wands, or there's a relationship to someone in their life that is a Queen of Wands that maybe influenced the situation, okay? And for some of you, you're going to already know what that is. We have Judgment. Cycling back around for reconciliation, a possible talking with you too, Libra, because sometimes this can be a conversation, this decision. We also have the Ten of Cups here. With the Ten of Cups now being here, and look at that, it showed up. We do see that their addictions to something, I'm feeling that they had addictions here, uh, could, them, could have held them back from truly being with you in the way that they wanted. And I feel like this will come to you in a truth. We do have judgment here. Major Arcana, this is the second time we see judgment today. Uh, with many shuffling. You guys see me. This is constant. I'm like this. So judgment energy to the queen of wands. Can I see that beautiful energy there? That's that's so beautiful. I see it on the table here with all this red. Okay. Knight of Cups. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. He sits there with so much emotion on this chair. He's telling truths now. It's not anymore that 40% they feel for you. It's starting to come in as the 92, the 110 I want to be with Libra. Okay. Also, I feel like there's something about remembering a certain memory between the two of you that's rather 
I want to say it's sentimental, but it's deeper than that. It's um, it's red velvet. It's it's almost like this avocado-y feeling of being with you, Libra, that they can't mimic with somebody else, okay? You might have even approached this person, the Knight of Cups, and um, you could have had a reconciliation already with the Judgment card being here, being here in the present. We have the Ace of Wands, and this is a beautiful card of offering, of course. The Ace of Wands is a creative new beginning. It's somebody also developing a muster to speak with you. If this is a new person and you're watching this thinking of a new person, that's a water sign. There's also resonance here because they're about ready to begin to speak up with the Ace of Wands. It's passion, okay? Um, and it's also a fiery one at that, you know? The Ace of Wands begins a new era. So I see that here in the reading. That could be part of the decision too, if you're taking it in that type of resonation as well. What does the Knight of Cups want to say? If there were words here, what does the Knight of Cups want to exemplify to Libra? I'm going to take the top one. What is the example here that they want to develop uh, as a speaking engagement with Libra? We have the Tower. Okay, you could have already experienced this. Um, could have been the last couple days, Libra. Like That's what I'm getting in the current is you have evidence of their feelings already coming toward you. Okay. And we also have the two of cups. So I kind of feel like this is one of those readings that's a slam dunk. I, I do want to say that judgment and the two of cups. Let me show you. Someone's making a decision to come toward you. They're also getting rid of the fear here. Okay. Because there was fear. I feel like what's, what I'm getting is this person was mighty scared to approach you with information, how you were going to react, how you were going to feel if they told you, uh, things from the past also squashing things between you two because I see here a resolution energy as well Judgment tower two of cups All right, and all of them are in this like pink and red. Let me hold it up for you because I want you to see what I'm seeing here I feel like something's changing and it could be that both of you are heading into a more mature era of your friendship or whatever this was whether this was a deep deep romance and um, both of you are now speaking up about it and the throat chakra is opened essentially okay even here the crown for either one of you and i see that as someone has stepped into their power maybe even this conversation made you step into your power dear libras uh tower card being here can I get straightforward advice for the tower energy? What does the twin flame of Libra want to say vocally? Thank you. We have koi fish spirit. There was always enough. The vulture is here, 63. So this is a message here today in twin flame. I will read it to you. It says, nothing is wasted. And I think this person is actually feeling that between the two of you and the seriosity of that relationship, Something's coming through in your reading, Libra, to say that they don't believe that time was for nothing, okay? And neither do you. 63 could mean something to you. Added, it's a nine that's individuality. Um, it could be associated to the nine of pentacles. It could be associated to the nine of cups as well. So happy, content, but single energy. Um, and that is what both of you are realizing in your time alone, okay? More messages we have give with gratitude in the current moment and we do have the stag which is very much like a libra sun trait about leadership quality diplomacy uh negotiating as well that's a libra thing the stag spirit is a leader in their craft okay so you have that card here your gift of gab and communication might actually be the thing today that you realize is a superpower libra um, your connection to this person, nothing was wasted, and there will be talks about this, okay? Whether this is a heart-to-heart -heart or it's just something that needs to come out. And that's the dear honest truth here is I feel like that was holding um, too long. There's something about keeping that stagnant and not letting it run to a free place. Let's see a little bit more here. Loyalty with the dog spirit, and we also have rabbit. We have now is a lucky time, all right? I'm seeing like a four leaf clover too here in my visions that could mean something for you. We also have the sign of fertility here. I wanna get a message for a Libra that's watching this possibly feminine, okay? Where this card is of divine timing and of the essence of now as well. And we have a dog spirit. There is a new loyalty and a bond too that is very clear to the both of you whether on your own separate sides in this twin flame video, or you are realizing that there's a new type of loyalty forming between the two of you, 
okay? And whenever, you know, this is man's best friend, the dog, right, Libras? So I feel like there's a there's a connection brewing that might be starting off on a better foundation. And this is only going to be specific to very few of you today on the channel. Koi, the dog, vulture, and the rabbit, okay? Give with gratitude at this time. Also, it's a lucky time signified in your reading. Let's move on to Oracle at this last part of the video. Uh, let's see what that loyalty is all about. What's going on in this current twin flame journey? Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine, please. We have Friendly Support. Nice. Okay, so this is like the Three of Cups, Libra. This is the Three of Cups energy. It's also about support. It says fairies, guides, and friends. Sorry there. That was a little fantasy oriented. It says don't don't forget to give aid at this time. Friendly support. I'm going to show you the picture one more time. And she's there holding kind of a bouquet. And they're helping pour tea in her cups there. So those could be friends. It could be family support too that you're realizing it's making you feel whole and complete at this time. And we also have proposal. This could be an idea. Your romance is about to evolve and level up. Okay, this person could be coming to you too, your twin flame or SO here today, Libra, significant other. I feel like it's not so much a physical proposal, of course, but it is about exchanging ideas. It's also about being there for each other in difficult times. And again, this is super specific because I feel like this is a romance that was originally a friendship, okay, of some kind, or maybe here you met them in the workplace. Can I get one more card on the proposal energy? Thank you. Letting go of the past, the two of you, okay? Mutual energy spot is letting go of the past. You could be letting go of each other, maybe deciding even here that it's not right yet in this particular video, or that you will let go of the past altogether and no longer think of it um, and place blame, place shame to in this reading. So let's clarify that with a tarot card because this is like a really specific message today for somebody. And I just want to get um, complete, clear-cut advice here at the end. Let go of the past, please. What is this final card? The lovers. Thank you, spirit and angels. And we also have the empress in pink. So this is Taurus. Libra, you could be dealing with those signs. And we also have the lovers here. First card out, okay, as clarifiers. Both of you have a genuine prescription to each other. I don't know why I felt I needed to say that prescription to one another. Uh, there still could be a soul contract that isn't fulfilled in this particular story. You know it, they know it, you feel it in your heart, and they see you as the empress today in this pink card. Of course, you're a Libra, so there you go. It's here. Uh, let's see that actually with more tarot. I want to go a little bit deeper with that. Why is the empress here and the lover's two major arcanas. Why do they have this feeling here today? Three of Cups. Right here on our LL table, we have reunions and we also have let's see each other one more time. Let's get together. Let's reunite. Um, there's a special place in their heart for you. Some of you already know this by way of current contact. And for some of you, the energy is the lover's card and the Three of Cups today. Okay? Uh, a deep friendship solidified in not only knowing each other to your core, but also that this person has a promise to be there for you in some way. And this can never be taken away. Um, they're admitting to it now in the divine feminine and divine masculine relationship as well with the three of cups. The lovers is a little bit more of an important card today because this is divine and very spiritual. So I'm going to leave it there. I hope this reading resonated. Please let me know. The comments is closed in one video today. The comments is open in this one. So just let me know which one, one or two, was your flavor or your style or was your story. Thank you guys so much. I will return tomorrow for a general reading. We're going to do past, present, and current. I hope to see you there. Um, we might start doing more lives too. I miss the live entries that we used to have on Libra Light. It was about a year ago. So I'll see you then, you guys. I hope you have a fabulous day. Signing off, and I'll see you tomorrow.